Good morning everyone. So, I finally figured out how I'm gonna do this. I'm actually just gonna hurry down to the bus stop so that you can see my face bathe in glorious street lights for the entirety of this video. Mm-hmm, see? Smart, right? On to the topic. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about HTML emails and why you should never try to make them yourself. Now, why is this? Well, see, there is a trend in most companies these days that you want to level up in every area possible. You want to s provide the user with a nicer and richer and fuller experience and emails is one of those things and unfortunately emails is one of those things that really can really make your product pop and stand out and engage people in a whole different way it's a whole different dimension of interacting with your users it's this type like, i mean it's actually also a sign of professionalism like you will see that people will trust your company more if you have a professional looking email when you send out the I don't know a password code or a password or information or newsletters or anything like that because uh, emails is that type of thing unfortunately there are a lot of fishers and spammers and all kinds of like a lot of negative uh, a lot of negative things are associated with especially HTML uh, with emails and it's something that most like especially people who are not so tech savvy are actually really afraid of emails so if your emails look unprofessional or they seem to be like not you know, they're not at a certain level of st certain standard. You might actually end up in the spam folder, for example, on certain email clients. And at some point, you'll probably lose people if you don't, if you just have plain text. For the most part, unless you have some other way of communicating that this is a trustworthy email, like a logo type or something that really stands out or something of that nature. Now. The problem is, for us developers, uh, it's basically that H like emails are they're the forgotten art, if you will, the forgotten piece of web technology that's out there. It's, they are, it's so horrendously bad in terms of consistency and standards that quite literally it's an entire science to make a HTML email look the same or look good in all the different combinations of browser or not browsers but email clients like out I'm talking about Gmail Outlook that type of stuff like you have the difference between the native email clients and the web clients MSN Hotmail like you know all the different ones Yahoo it's it is a horror show and I know this firsthand because I was in the unfortunate situation that I had to actually make these things for a company who didn't really understand how difficult it is like it's I can tell you that there are quite literally companies today that like their entire revenue comes from making email templates that's how difficult it is because there's so many combinations of email clients and since they all have their own quirks and their own way of working basically you're very very limited into like these are not in these were never like it's to me it's basically a hack it is virtually a hack if you go to one of those html email shops or like web pages where they sell these templates and you look at their markup it is most of it is using tables it's using padding and a lot of CSS trickery to make things look nice. And frankly, I just the other day, one of my colleagues wanted me to help him with one of the, these templates. And I said, like, he, and he, he's not a tech savvy person. I told him, like, I'll gladly help you with this. And I'll gladly, like, show you how it works and, you know, get your, get your work done. But 
don't think that this because he's very keen to learn HTML and CSS and all that stuff and I said this is not this is not a good way for you to learn because the trickery that is used here this is not how regular web pages work this is an extreme corner case for how to structure things so if you have if you're interested in learning HTML don't start with HTML emails because they are a warped example of how it works it's actually that complicated that most developers I know can't do it right there are frameworks that will help you ink for example is a very good one but even those are not a hundred percent so my tip to you is buy these if you're gonna make it part of your business because it's that difficult to get it right and hopefully in the future the standards will be better so that we can start making some really cool emails